person on page 699 up to page 702 from your book. Here are the learning objectives for today's lesson. You're going to read and analyze line plots and solve more problems involving line plots with speed and accuracy. Now, let's analyze this problem. Several students were asked how many blocks they walk from home to school each day. The results are shown in the line plot below. How many students were asked the questions? Use the line plot to solve this problem. As you can see, the title of the line plot is Distance from Home to School. And these are the data that we have. The number of dots means the number of students that we have. And we have the number of blocks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, let's analyze this student's work. Monica's work makes a data table using the line plot and adds to answer the question. So as you can see, block 1, number of students, there are 4. Why? Because there are 4 dots okay above one and above two there are five above three there are five above four there are two four six eight above five there are two six is zero and seven is one that's why when she plotted the points or when she points of uh, the different data rather on the table the blocks walk one we have the number of students four Blocks walk 2, there are 5. Blocks walk 3, there are 5. Blocks walk 4, there are 8. And blocks walk 5, there are 2. And 6 is 0 data. And 7, there is 1. So, after that, she added, okay, 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 5 is 14. Plus 8 is 22 plus 2 is 24, plus 1 is 25. That's why 25 students were asked the questions. Now, for Steve's work, Steve's, or Steve writes down the information recorded in the line plot and uses the mental math to answer the question. So as you can see here, 4 students walk in 1 block, 5 students walk in 2 blocks, 5 students walk 3 blocks, 8 students walk four blocks, two students walk five blocks, and one student walk seven blocks. So by using the mental map, he got 25 students in all. So how can you analyze the data displayed in a line plot? Again, when we say line plot, it means, it means shows how often each value occurs. So a line plot or dot plot shows data along a number line and each dot or x represents one value in the data set. So here is um, the problem. In science class, Abby and her classmates perform an experiment in which they use different amounts of vinegar. The table shows how much vinegar each person use. So the title of the table is cups of vinegar. Okay, and here are the data. We have one half, one, another one, one and one half, three fourth, one, three fourth, one and one fourth, three fourth, one half, three, one, three fourth, one and one half, one, one, one and one fourth, three fourth, one, one and one fourth, and one. So what are we going to do? So a line plot can be used to organize the amount of vinegar each person use. So this is the lab experiment. The title is lab experiment if we're going to make a line plot. And these are the number of cups of vinegar. So one half, we have two data because we, we have one half here. This is the first half and the other half. So there are two given data. So, if work, we have 2, 4, and 5. 1 cup of vinegar, we have 2, 4, 6, and 8. 1 and 1 fourth, we have 3. 1 and 1 half, we have 2. 
and one and three four two two and one four two and when have two and three four we don't have any given okay from the data then we have three which is equivalent to one now Analyzing the data, we need to identify any outlier. Is there any outlier outlier from the data? When we say outlier, it means um, any value that is very different from the rest of the value. So the dot above 3 is far from the rest of the dots. As you can see, the distance is too far. Okay, And this value is an outlier. Now, what is an outlier a set of data? As I told you, when we say outlier, it means a value that is very different from the other value. In the line plot on the previous page, do any values occur the same number of times? Explain. So, if we're going back to the, the given, okay, so we have the same number one and one half here and uh, one half here and we have one and one half here so we have the same data which is equivalent to two so it means yes one half one and one half occurred the same time number of ties so both values have two dots above that now describe any pattern in the line plot on the previous page if you're going to observe the pattern on the previous page most of the dots are between one half and one and one half as you can see if we go back here most of the dots are in between one half and one and one half it means it is referring to this part it is more than two okay uh, now let's proceed to the next one does the data set answer the questions Mr. Rice's students ran a 40-yard dash in the following times, in seconds. So these are the following data. We have 6.8 seconds, 7.3 seconds, 7.1, 7, 7.2, 7 7.3, 7, 6.9, 6.9, 7.4, 6.4, 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, 6.10, 6.11, 6.12, 6.13, 6.14, 6.15, 6.16, 6.17, 6.18, 6.19, 6.20, 6.21, 6.22, 6.23, 6.24, 6.25, 6.26, 6.27, 6.28, 6.29, 6.30, 6.31, 6.32, 6.33, 6.34, 6.35, 6.36, 6.37, 6.38, 6.39, 6.40, 6.41, 6.42, 6.43, 6.44, 6.45, 6.46, 6.47, 6.48, 6.49, 6.50, 6.51, 6.52, 6.53, 6.54, 6.55, 6.56, 6.57, 6.58, 6.59, 6.60, 6.61, 6.62, 6.63, 6.64, 6.65, 6.66, 6.67, 6.68, 6.69, 6.70, 6.71, 6.72, 6.73, 6.74, 6.75, 6.76, 6.77, 6.78, 6.79, 6.80, 6.81, 6.82, 6.83, 6.84, 6.85, 6.86, 6.87, 6.88, 6.89, 6.90, 6.91, 6.92, 6.93, 6.94, 6.95, 6.96, 6.97, 6.98, 6.99, 6.10, 6.11, 6.12, 6.13, 6.14, 6.15, 6.16, 6.17, 6.18, 6.19, 6.20, 6.21, 6.22, 6.23, 6.24, 6.25, 6.26, 6.27, 6.28, 6.29, 6.30, 6.31, 6.32, 6.33, 6.34, 6.35, 6.36, 6.37, 6.38, 6.39, 6.40, 6.41, 6.42, 6.43, 6.44, 6.45, 6.46, 6.47, 6.48, 6.49, 6.50, 6.51, 6.52, 6.53, 6.54, 6.55, 6.56, 6.57, 6.58, 6.59, 6.60, 6.61, 6.62, 6.63, 6.64, 6.65, 6.66, 6.67, 6.68, 6.69, 6.70, 6.71, 6.72, 6.73, 6.74, 6.75, 6.76, 6.77, 6.78, 6.79, 6.80, 6.81, 6.82, 6.83, 6.84, 6.85, 6.86, 6.87, 6.88, 6.89, 6.90, 6.91, 6.92, 6.93, 6.94, 6.95, 6.96, 6.97, 6.98, 6.99, 6.10, 11.12, 13.14, 15.16. 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 6.99, 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's why the answer is 12 orders. Next, question number 7. Which amount of cheese was ordered most often? Most often means the most common. It means if you're going to, to identify from the line plot the tallest, okay? Or having the more number of dots or x. So obviously, one half is the answer because one half is having four data. Next, number eight. How many more orders for cheese were four and three per pound or less than for one pound or more? So, as you can see here, three four pound or less. Good. So, three four pound, we have three. Less than three four pound, we have four and two. So, if you're going to combine these three, this is equivalent to nine. So, three four pound or less is equivalent to nine. How about one pound or more? One pound or more, this is one pound. And more than one pound, we have one and one fourth and one and one half. So how many data do we have? We have three. So in order to get how many more orders for cheese, okay, we're for three fourth pound or less than one three fourth pound or more. So we just simply subtract nine, subtract by three. The answer is six more orders. Let's proceed to the mathematical practices and problem solving. Question number nine. Jerome studied feather lengths of some adult four sparrows. How long are the longest feathers in the data set? So this is the data and this is the line plot. Okay, as you can see here, we have three fourth. There is one data of three fourth. From the given data, this is three fourth. Then one we don't have. 1 and 1 fourth we don't have, 1 and 1 half we don't have, 1 and 3 fourth we don't have, 2 we have 4 data for 2, where is it? 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, 2 and 1 fourth we have 2, 4, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six and seven that's correct and two and one half we have five so one two three four and five and two and three fourth we have three one two three so how many data do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fifteen and twenty so the number of data set must be equal to the number of dots. So we have 20, so it means you need to have 21 plus 4 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's right. Now, how long are the longest feather? So as you can see, the longest is if it is referring to the length. In inches, the longest is 2m before. Okay, so that is the longest. Next, how many feathers are two and one fourth inches or longer? So two and one fourth has two, four, six, seven. Okay, and it should be two and one fourth or longer. So after two and one fourth, we have another one, which is two and one half, which is five, and two and three fourth which is 3. If we're going to add all these dots, that is equivalent to 15. That's why 15, there are 15 dots above 2 and 1 fourth, 2 and 1 half, and 2 and 3 fourth. Next, Jerome discovered he had made an error when he recorded one of the feather lengths. So which data value could be the error? So the outlier, which is 3 fourth inches okay so that could be the error from the given set of data how can you find the value that occurs most often in looking at the line plot so by finding the tallest column of x or finding the tallest column of x next number 13 draw and label a rectangle with a perimeter of 24 inches 
So the simple answer is we have 9 here, so we have 9 on the parallel sides. So 3 and 3, so if you're going to find the perimeter, when we say perimeter, it means the total, okay, measurement or the total, yes, measurement of all the sides. So we have 9 and another 9, and we have 3 and 3. If we're going to add all the sides, the answer is equivalent to 24. So that is only a sample answer. Next, number 14. This is the information shown in the line plot and how many melons weigh more than 4 pounds. So more than 4 pounds is 4 and 1 half, 5, 5 and 1 half, and 6. But there's another instruction. It should be less than 5 and 1 half. So 5 and 1 half is 5 and 4 and 1 half. So in short, melons weigh more than 4 pounds and less than 5 and 1 half is only 4 and 1 half and 5. Okay, so only these two number of pounds. So what is the data? You need to count the number of dots in order to get how many melons is that. So we have 4 and we have 2, 4, 6, 7. So 7 plus 4 is equivalent to 11 melons. So it means number of melons weigh more than 4 pounds and less than 5 and 1 half is equivalent to 11 melons. So that's it. Thank you so much and have a good day.